Welcome back everybody to oh, another episode of Probably well, we Entire No Wind Artize for someone. Tales of Sisteria! So wait, why Armatize then on a oh Oh Dang. Yeah, damn. Into ultimate. Born to be Gross. digital champions to I'm so sorry. free the digital world. It was me. I caused you, the Wind Riders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? Yeah. I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Hey, come on. There's gotta be more you want to say. The fact that he's about to die soon, I mean... I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this, I'm getting bummed out about it. <laughs> tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. <laughs> and then give them a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna let him die? Okay. What the fuck? He's fading into the light. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Yeah! I'm a little bummed, I won't lie to you. <laughs> I started to get invested in the story, and then, yeah, they just kill a character off. That's cool, and yeah, fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck you. You know, the fucks are bringing them back, bro. They're bubbling now. Rose! The hatred, so I can feel it, dude. Oh, thank goodness. So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core and deserving of no. extermination? Oh, fuck you. Lies! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable seraph, burdened with countless sins. Yay! <laughs> Win Seraph yeah. number two! Hey, Zavid. And now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. Oh, I'm bummed now. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, are you... Are you now Zaid is gonna dress up as Devil. No, probably not. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I need a bit of a walk myself. Oh. So many places to go talk to yeah, people. Yeah, the stars lined up. I know you need to be a bit of a walk, but let's talk. A 
little bum and I won't lie to you. I thought you walked so far. What's yeah. up? Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking oh, you should that's quit. A big shame. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. What happened yesterday? Things are different now. I guess it's For not Dazzle's technically sake, nothing else. the next day. I want to find uh, the answers. Like, right, I guess. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as I just want to know in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's then why, why tell us I to no quit? I longer think you should quit. We you should quit. I don't really think you should. Yeah. What? Okay. Right. Yeah, what? And it okay. isn't just Whatever. the shepherd's duty. I like we're already considering it anyways. Yeah. We, all of us need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll walk that way then. I'm pretty bummed. I, I, I want to make this a joy. Like. Oh, inside, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, pop. You have to go that way and up. Can so, you? to the left. So you're not behind one of the pillars? No. Nope. I'm pretty to think sure of, that's where Rose is. I'm trying to think of a joke to crack, but... I'm just... Go that way. I'm going. <laughs> I'm trying to think about the other star there. Well, that looks like... Edna. Yeah, who's that? Oh. Hi, hello. What are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Get out of the way. Shoo. Our friend, the creepy little girl, she said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna, okay. stop right there. Hmm. I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be no, saying that about your on. brother either. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. <laughs> uh. Oh. And there's nothing to discuss. Cold, dude. Yeah. Damn, that's a cold ass honky. Saray. All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. All right, I'll I lose apologize. my previous statement. Not a cold ass honky. Thank you, Edna. <laughs> Has the sky. It's a cool umbrella. I won't. I won't. I won't lie about that. That's probably one of the coolest umbrellas I've ever seen. Grab the flower that you. Matter. Really, like one point stat. Yeah. Might as well get it. There. It's for focus too. Do you feel good about it? Yeah. Oh god, bitch. I'm dealing with my emotions, man. I don't. Wait. No. So then go look at it. You didn't go up to the ledge, dude. Did, can you even get up there? Yeah, you did once before. I don't remember ever getting up there. Yeah, you talked to Rose up there. I... When you first came into Pendrago, you went... Rain. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought that was somewhere completely different. Alright, well... Oh, no, no that's like that. Rose is not there. Pump that little <laughs> bitch. Okay. Lila, what are you doing? Oh, this? So That's gummy. incredible! How'd you do that? Crofts. Making Crofts. paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. 
I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? Talk one over when you like in the moment where was someone was gonna die in the next like three seconds, you didn't fire the damn gun. What are you gonna talk over? <laughs> Hey, should I stop? Oh, I'm dead. Wait, let's have a meeting. Let's oh, regroup. Spirits, Saray, but regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of the lost one. To my memory so is an Asian them. thing. No, no, no European actually. Seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Now, Saray, let's send it off. Crashes. Make some warm air so it can float up. She's gonna send a fly if she doesn't control wind. All right, warm air. It rises. Science. I accidentally clicked the circle button. I'm I had sure it I exited the cutscene. I was like, Oh no! <laughs> Lila. Yes. Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be I'll sum up half of the motivational speeches no in Sisteria. Don't carry the burden, bro. Yeah. I'm going to stay up here for a while. Uh, you're not alone, the bro. Wind feels yeah. Don't carry the burden, bro. All right then. There's also I'll an obelisk over there. Okay. I don't remember ever grabbing. I too have a ways to go. And a flower over there. There's a lot of stuff around here. Still, uh, bummery mode though. Do, 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 do. Let's see what wisdom it has. Armatization. Thank you. Thank you. We've never done this before. <laughs> Thanks, man. <coughs> Cough. Cough. It is a plant. Right, so that's it for this top side area. Top side. <laughs> West side. <laughs> West side. I do like her umbrella. Though. I don't think anyone can, I don't think anyone can deny that Edna probably has the coolest umbrella ever. Yeah. All right. So one more person, kind of outside of town. And then we go back to the inn. Now, who do you think will be Rose or Zavid? It has to be Rose. It could be Zavid. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, guess go to the inn. Yeah. Oh. I thought there was going to be somebody at the gate, but... I guess Rose got nothing to say about it. And Zavid, who I don't know why he suddenly showed up... Doesn't have anything to say about it either. I'm confused, man. Nothing's clear. He arrived just in time to get a new hat. Just walks off. <laughs> you bastard. Ah, oh, yeah. Morning, Saray. Mm -hmm. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look <laughs> like it. <laughs> Yo, Saray. Oh. Oh, Zavid. You're still. By the here. way, I did look it up. Ouch. It's not Alvin. Lila, is he always this cold? Mm -hmm. It Ryan, is like somebody from here. One Piece, though. Mm -hmm. Care to explain why you wish to enter yeah. the Sublord Pass? You'll never guess. You will absolutely no never guess. My goal Let me tell you why you'll never guess. The, yeah. the two voices are so different. Sarah? No. no. It'd be like oh, yeah. um, assuming you you the Terminator school. sounds like Elmo. That's how different it is. Luffy. Nope. <laughs> I'm not. No. Right. One of them being Little Miss Edna's older brother. And the dun, dun. other, Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows so... up. Isn't that Tell funny? Us. Question mark? It can't be. Huh. I didn't think it could be either. Weird. At first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. Which is extremely and dangerous and that's the only thing we should do. Is to approach him directly. Maybe. But we need yep. to be able Wasn't to stand against Heldolf's domain. Yeah. Or we're sunk. Mm -hmm. And that's where I come in. Yeah. If you'll let me fill the desel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. The V is pretty fucking it. cool. It's all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Huh? Sorry. Okay. No. 
Uh, what were we talking about again? I got a gas. Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? <sighs> I you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't breathe. Even... No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <do that>. No. <laughs> It's an emotional scene, bro. I do my best out there. They're trying so to make an emotional why, scene. That's why I'm doing oh, you're trying to make it not an emotional scene. <laughs> I don't know, your buddy died. Why am I crying like this? Rose. He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I... I didn't even notice. In the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on. You're one with dead silent. Okay. As if he's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay? yeah, no, she, she's right. He's not All right, let's go. That's true. <laughs> All right, All right. All right. we didn't do that. All right, <laughs> Savid, you you're so cool, dude. All righty. So now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavin Basin. Since it's the place where ah, we're Zavid, you're so cool. Glavin but Basin, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, did they just share the same uh, secondary outfit? Yeah. But Charles <laughs> in one. Charles he looks a little one. too ripped for a lot of it. <laughs> Charles. Charles. <laughs> Come on, not Winter Hunter. Dress him up as Dezel. No, I'm not dressing him as Dezel. No. <laughs> First of all, don't you want to be somebody other than. Yeah. I know I don't know why I'm there, but whatever. Now, I'm gonna do some switcher rooming. Oh and he spawned in level thirty three, that's good. That's good. Wait, he does he have spawned a, higher does than he, me. Wait, does he have a completely different move set? Magus? Alright, so he has some different moves. Outlaw Mirage. Alright, cool, cool. Cool cool. Does he still have the pendulums then? That is a good question. I'm assuming he's using the damn gun. No. Nope. No, he has the exact same gear. Whoa. There's gold ones? Because we have the bronze, little silver ones, but yeah. we never had gold. Sorcerer of the Raging Tempest. Agus of Whirlwind. Chain damn, of Agus. Look at all that one does the, the Chain of Agus. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot. Hmm. I'll keep it on Chain of Agus. Goddamn. Wait, does no one else have a gold one? He's nope. the only one? Ah, oh, Zavid, you're so badass. You gotta chill with the coolness, man. But that will be it for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe or comment in the bottom section below. See you guys in the next episode. Peace. Peace. He's cool. He's cool.